People often point to the Van Allen radiation belts as proof that we didn't go to the moon. You can't fly through that kind of radiation environment and live. Well, the Apollo astronauts all survived their trip through the Van Allen radiation belts, and here's a brief recap of how NASA made the decision to just go right on through. Physicist James Van Allen discovered the radiation belts that bear his name in 1958. The belts, which you can think of as two non-uniformly dense donuts circling the Earth, exist because charged particles become trapped in the Earth's magnetic field. The same magnetic field that protects us from radiation from space actually prevents some of that dangerous radiation from dissipating away from the planet. Not long after their discovery, scientists realized that the Van Allen belts would be a problem for spaceflight. The immediate and most obvious solution was just to keep all missions below the inner belt, below an orbit of about 350 miles. But by 1960, NASA was already thinking of going to the moon, which is about 250,000 miles away. There was no way they could do it without passing through the Van Allen belts. At first, scientists didn't think it would be possible. It was feasible to protect the astronauts against the lower radiation of the outer belt, but basically impossible to protect them against the higher radiation of the inner belt. Van Allen himself actually proposed a very unorthodox solution to the problem. Detonate a nuclear device in the lower belt to try to add more energy to the region and help the particles escape. NASA never tried nuking the Van Allen belts, but the Atomic Energy Commission did the next best thing. Under Operation Dominic, the nuclear testing program, was an event called Starfish Prime. This was a high-altitude nuclear detonation designed to see what would happen if a nuclear bomb exploded in the atmosphere. The test had the US government detonate a 1.4 megaton nuclear device 250 miles above the planet and it added radiation to the lower Van Allen belt. But the Starfish Prime radiation dissipated, and NASA eventually decided that the Van Allen radiation belts weren't enough of a hazard to ground missions to the moon. Trajectory analysts found the safest way through the region, and mission planners reasoned that the astronauts would pass through the worst of the belts fast enough that they didn't need any additional protection. All the electronics and instrumentation lining the walls of the command module would give them enough of a kind of makeshift shelter. At the end of the Apollo program, NASA found that its astronauts had not been exposed to any more radiation than the average Atomic Energy Commission worker who deals with radioactivity on a daily basis is exposed to in a year. And really, in the scope of the Apollo program, a little bit of radiation exposure was not the highest risk the astronauts ran in going to the moon. For more on the Van Allen belts, how they were discovered, and NASA's process of deciding to just go right through them on the way to the moon, check out my latest article on Vintage Space. And for weekly Vintage Space video updates, don't forget to subscribe.